Hello crafty friends, it's Jessica from Little Twitter's Crafts and today I'm just going to walk you through a short little tutorial on using line color to cut and sketch on the same piece of paper. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to show you using how I would do it using an A2 card size. Which right down here I have what those measurements are. A four and a fourth by five and a half is the typical A2 and I use pretty much for any of my cards I use A2 cards. And I always like to do a mat. So when you're doing a mat, you make it a little smaller. So let's go ahead and select the rectangle over here on the left hand side. You can click so you can draw a rectangle. Draw out your rectangle. And as you can see, as I'm moving this, the numbers are changing. And I can try really hard to get it close to four and five and a quarter. But the quicker way is just to draw your rectangle, select it, come up to the top and select the scale window. When that opens up you'll come in here and there'll be the width and the height and you can specify your dimensions. I'm going to unlock the aspect ratio because if you leave it, as you can see, I'll show you here, I'm going to change this to 4. It's automatically going to change my height to keep it the same. So I'm going to unlock that and then I'm going to change the height to 5 and a quarter which would be 5.25 I'm going to select apply and now um, as you can see 5.25 and 4 for my width. So now we have that done. Now we need to go ahead and get on with our design. So I'm just going to make some numbers. So just type out the numbers and then you can on select or select it and on group and now you can move the numbers freely and this little green dot above them is to rotate so you can as you're moving them you can rotate the numbers however you'd like onto your mat onto your card front not your mat they're already on the mat but get them positioned where you think is best Okay. And then now I'm going to go ahead and do the number 10 because we'll go ahead and create this into a birthday card. So I have the number 10, but I want to use a different font, kind of a bolder font. Let's see what I got here. You just need to have it selected and then you can come over to your font and um, click whatever you'd like. So I'm going to use this font. I like this one. And I can size it by making it bigger. So if you want to, you can also highlight it, and you can change this right here to change the size. But I find it just as easy to grab the corner and make it as big or small as I want. Go ahead and put that on my card front, make it just a tiny bit bigger. There we go. And then I need to get my writing. So now I'm going to do my writing. And I want it to say happy birthday, so like making a 10th birthday card. So happy birthday. And I want to find, because I'm going to use a sketch pen or a marker to write this. So I want to find a font that's going to look nice using a marker or um, my sketch pen. So I found one that I think I will like. And I need to shrink it up. And like I said again, you can use the text size and go over here to the right and change the font size that way. Or you can just grab the edge and size it that way. So get that on the card where you want it. And you can move the rest of it around. Okay, so we have that on there. Now, if I went ahead and sent this to my silhouette, it's going to cut out all of that, which is not what we want. So I need to change a little bit of the colors here so we can cut by line colors. So I'm going to select the happy birthday again, and I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to just select green and turn that green. And then I'm going to change the number 10 to blue because um, I want it to cut out the 10 from the card front. 
but I also want to cut on a separate colored sheet of paper the 10 so I can put it behind the card base so that I have a, a different color behind it. So that's why I'm changing that. So once you have the colors that you need to cut by line color, you can go over to the top and select the blade. That's the cut settings window. And as you can see, um, well normally it would have everything selected. And black, the reason black is up here is because I have this written in that. So I don't want that to cut at all. And then um, I always typically do my writing first just because sometimes when you cut, so numbers and stuff can move, like things can shift around a little bit. So it's just kind of best to do the writing first. So my writing, what I want to write with my sketch pen is in green. So I'm going to go ahead and unselect the blue and the red. And you can see that here now. It's just the green that's highlighted. And then I need to scroll down. And I'm going to be using the sketch pen. So I want to select sketch pen. And then I can scroll down here and I can see, yep, it's selected and go ahead and click send to silhouette. My silhouette's not connected so for me to do that it just tell me please connect your silhouette. So once you get that done don't unload your mat. You're going to come back in here to the cut setting. So just scroll back up and then you can uncheck the green. So now happy birthday is not lit or highlighted. So I'm going to select the 10 and the numbers and X which is also the outline of the card and then I need to go down and select the material I'm cutting with. Most likely you're probably going to be using a cardstock. So go ahead and select the cardstock and then scroll down a little bit and you can see what it's telling you to set your blade at. So saying to put it at a 5 and by moving, sometimes people don't realize when you move this, it doesn't actually change the blade in your cameo. So just make sure that you turn the little blue knob, pull out your blade, and stick it into the little ratchet. You stick it down in there, turn it, and make sure that you have the correct number highlighted. And Silhouette gives you suggested starting points. So when I click cardstock, or texture card stock, it tells me to set my blade at 5. Just because it tells me that doesn't mean I'm going to get the best cut on my machine because each machine is a little bit different. So sometimes you might have to bump your blade down to 4 or you might have to bump it up to 6. So you'll have to play with that. So I also suggest just doing a test cut which is um, let's see where is that? right down here at the bottom. They changed it on me. So the test cut is right down here and you just do a test cut and what a test cut does, it cuts a little triangle up here in the corner uh, of your loaded mat. So you can always do a test cut to see if, you know, you need to change your settings a little bit. But then once you get your blade set correctly, go ahead and send a silhouette and it's going to go ahead and cut all of this out and it's going to already have the happy birthday written on it for you. So thank you for watching. That was just a quick little tutorial how to cut and sketch using line color. Have a great day.